what's up youtube welcome to gorgeous one mink thank you for joining my channel guys if you're not a part of the mink family please go subscribe y'all like this video comment and share for the world to see thank you guys for watching um today we're going to be doing some pasta guys and this right here is some chicken breast cut up and right now i'm kind of like browning it they have a lot of water in it so i'm gonna let that kind of cook down so it can brown some more and right here we have our pasta ball in so i had already cut up the chicken breasts um they were boneless chicken breasts so um it was super easy for me to uh, cut them up and they are already seasoned so i'll be back guys to show you once they're getting close so all, once all this water kind of gets out of here i'm gonna get back with you okay all of our water has balled out of the pot our chicken breasts are now browning guys and we have our baby spinach here which is gonna shrink y'all know you get baby spinach it ain't gonna come out the same size as you bought it and to the left guys you have the pot that the pasta was um balling in and that is done we're gonna save this pot for the broccoli because everything is gonna be mixed together anyways so we're gonna let this finish browning guys and i'll get back to you Okay guys, now this is our broccoli balling and it's cooking and over here we have our sauce. I've added the ragu sauce to the uh, meat with the baby spinach and I'm about to tell you guys what sauce I use so you guys can know what sauce you can use. Or you can use, you know, whatever cheesy sauce, creamy sauce you would like to use. But this is the ragu classic Alfredo real cheese sauce. And I got that in a 16 ounce. I got two of them like that. So you don't have to use this sauce. You can use whichever you prefer. I also added in some whipped cream. A little small bottle will do. Just one small bottle will do for this uh, recipe that I used. And this is the creamy sauce, guys. It looks so, so, so good. I've also added the shrimp in here, guys. As you can tell, it's, it's going to cook down and you'll be able to see how it looks. And uh, we're going to also add some cheese to this. And I will let you guys know in a minute what cheese we used. This is the pasta that is cooked i rinsed it in cold water i took all the starch out of it guys i don't know if you do it or not if you leave the starch in though that is totally up to you but i take mine's out so it's easy to mix in so this is the pasta okay guys this is the parmesan cheese and this was a six ounce bag that i used that you can add whatever cheese you would like but that was the parmesan cheese this is the kobe monterey jack cheese i think this was a one pound 16 ounce bag but i only use like half of the bag um you can use half of the bag i've already had this cheese so that's why more of it is gone but we also added besides the kobe and monterey jack cheese we've also added mozzarella and provolone cheese this was also a one pound bag and I use half of the bag for this one as well. Now, it's up to you on how much cheese you would like to add to this, but that's how much I added. And here we have the pasta mixed with the cream sauce, the cheese, the chicken breast, the baby spinach. Now, the only thing we haven't added yet was our broccoli, guys. And the broccoli, we're going to add the broccoli to this in a second. And here we have our broccoli balling and it's done. Now we can add it to the pasta, guys. And here we have all, everything added in there with the broccoli, the pasta, the chicken breast, the baby spinach, the cheese, all of that, the creamy sauce, all together, guys. It's so good, so delicious. You need to check out, like, really really get the ingredients in cook this recipe guys i use low sodium blend seasoning as well you can use whatever seasoning you would like 
If you haven't subscribed already, please, guys, please subscribe and like this video and comment and share for the world to see. And try this recipe out. It's so delicious and healthy.